There's no quick fix. There's no shortcut. It's just not going to work. What's going on, everybody? My name is Tatro, your electronic music mentor. Welcome back to an all new episode of Mentor Monday. If you don't know, Mentor Monday is a segment on this channel where we talk about some of the less technical aspects of being a music producer and focus on some of the more philosophical conversations that nobody really talks about. First things first, if you enjoy live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer, you should click the subscribe button down below. I also post a lot on my other social media and you can find the links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description. Jumping off of last week's Mentor Monday and talking about social media, I want to really focus on Instagram this week and how a lot of people are totally misusing it. Now, Instagram is one of my biggest assets as a music producer. I've partnered with a lot of brands on Instagram, and I've gained a lot of new audience members from Instagram. And there's ways to do this, and there's ways not to do this. And a lot of people seem very confused about how to actually use Instagram so that it works for you. The bottom line here is there's no easy way. There's no quick fix. There's no shortcut. It's just not going to work. Here's one way to not use Instagram as a music producer. DM groups do not work. If you don't even know what this is, good, you don't need to, but it's actually this group that people create, like a message group, so that whenever you post, you can tell people, hey guys, I posted, everybody go like and comment on my latest post. Just the basis idea of this is the reason that it will not work. And I get messages all the time asking me to join DM groups, and I either don't respond at all, or I say no, and I say no for these reasons. When you're posting your music, your videos, your pictures, you want people to discover them and choose on their own volition to like them and to engage with them. You don't want to create some inorganic system where people are just liking because they're part of a group. You'll have a false sense of accomplishment because all these likes and comments will be coming in from your DM group. But once that group goes away, what do you really have? Instead, you should post often and use hashtags. That way you can get discovered by people who actually are looking for the type of content you're creating. So by posting more frequently, you have a better chance of getting in front of more eyes. And by using hashtags, you can find people who are searching for that content. You are never gonna get traffic by posting in the comments of somebody's posts to go check out your page. Never once have I done this and never did it seem like a good idea. First of all, if my users are engaging with my content, they're likely not even looking at the comments. Not only that, but usually when people do this, the content is not even up to par with the same quality as mine. So unless you have the exact same quality or better, there's no real point in even trying this. You should put that time into making more content for yourself so people will have more time to notice you on your page. And that goes for not just music producers, but this happens a lot with graphic artists. There's nothing worse than a post with all caps saying, hey, if you need cover art, blah, 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 and it has a bunch of emojis, I'm just gonna delete the comment, and if I see it more than once, I'm gonna block you, so you won't even have that space. Because here's the bold thing about it. When you comment on an influencer's page that has a decent following and expect to use it as advertising space, you're actually taking something from that influencer. So the influencer's audience is basically what earns their income, whether that's through brand deals or advertising. And when you try to take free advertising, that's the same thing as seeing a billboard on the highway, going up to the person that owns that billboard and says, hey, I'm just up and coming, I'm just starting out, can I be on that billboard for free? No one would ever say yes to that. And it's the same thing on the internet with influencers. There are just so many better ways to get your name out there. Likely, if you're just starting out and you have to ask for it for free, you're not at a place where you really need the billboard anyway. DMing asking to collaborate. This is fine as long as your work level is at the same level as the person you're DMing. Usually what happens for me is I get DMs from people with significantly less followers that have significantly lower quality posts asking to collaborate. So essentially what you're asking for is for me to give you a shout out or me to give you promotion if we collaborate, where essentially I'll need to do most of the work and you'll just kind of siphon off from the success of it. And that's not really worth my time. I'm happy to help people out and give people advice. That's why I do this channel. That's why I do things like Mentor Monday so that I can specifically give you advice on how to succeed. 
but I'm not just gonna put in my time that's spent making content for myself and for my audience into helping you promote yourself. You can always find creators that are at the same level as you and offer to collaborate with them, but you should always be providing some value. I would never ask to collaborate with somebody and then assume that they were gonna do any of the work. If you're gonna ask somebody to collaborate that's on the same level as you, offer to do all the editing, all the mixing, whatever goes into it, you should offer to do all the work and then give them something. I'll give you the post, I'll edit it, I'll put it together, I'll mix the tracks, and then I'll give it to you to post. All you have to do is post because you need to provide value. It's likely that you're DMing somebody to collaborate because you think that they can give you value, which is kind of selfish and also very transparent so people know that that's what's happening. Reposts are also great. I am totally down if anybody wants to repost my work, doesn't matter how many followers you have, nothing. As long as you credit the original poster. Either tag them in the photo or tag them in the caption, both are ideal. But I've found my posts on some other people's pages with zero credit and what that does is you are actually claiming my content for yourself and I've filed copyright claims on pages which gets their content taken down and even could get their page taken down. You're literally taking my creative property and saying I did this. But if you want your page to look cool and you want to repost like all my stuff, just put my tag in there. You could have a page that's all my posts and I would be totally down. You just tag me and then people would find my actual page. The best thing that you can do for yourself is create amazing content, the best quality you can with what you have as frequently as possible and engage with the audience that's coming to your page. You will grow a big community by focusing on your small community at first. And this won't happen overnight. You might start out by posting once a week and have one person who consistently comments and you need to converse with that person. And then you might upgrade to twice or three times a week and you might get up to five people who comment and engage. And that might happen over a month or two months time. It's really up to you and how much work that you're gonna put in. Let me know what you think about this perspective in the comments down below. It's something that's been on my mind for a while because I've been putting more effort into my Instagram. So I'm seeing a little more of these sort of spam shortcut strategies. There is no shortcut, I promise you. Like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with somebody who needs to hear this advice, and make sure you subscribe for more electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Tatro, your electronic music mentor. Have a good one.